On September 9th, Abdu'l-Bahá set out on a long journey to the west coast. In Toronto, he stepped off the train and paced the platform, exhausted. He wondered if he could make it to California, but he continued on. In Buffalo, he went to view the great beauty of Niagara Falls before addressing 70 people at the Hotel Iroquois. He garnered much media and public attention in Buffalo. In fact, when he gave money to the poor on the street, a crowd surrounded him, recognizing him from publicity. When he spoke at the Universalist Church of the Messiah, the congregation kept him up late asking questions. On September 12th, Abdu'l-Bahá was greeted at the Chicago train station by a large crowd who formed two lines. Abdu'l-Bahá walked majestically between them, showering his blessings on each one. Sachiro Fujita, a Japanese Baha'i, had climbed a lamppost for a better view. He was called down to Abdu'l-Bahá's side and invited to ride with him to Corinne True's home. He later journeyed with Abdu'l-Bahá to California. On September 15th, when Abdu'l-Bahá and his companions took an excursion to Kenosha, Wisconsin, they missed their train. Abdu'l-Bahá said there was a wisdom in this. Later, they came upon the wreckage of the train they had missed, which had collided with another. In Kenosha, Abdu'l-Bahá spoke at a congregational church and at a luncheon where people sang songs of praise and brought their children to him to be blessed. 